Hey, so this video should be pretty short. We're going to be covering the push method, which is another method on the array prototype. The signature for this method is basically you can pass in as many comma separated items as you want, and it's going to push those onto the array that you're calling the push method on. So after you call the push method, it's going to return you the new length of the array. And honestly, I don't think I've ever found that return value that useful. Maybe you can use it in some cases, but for the most part, just know that pushing with item A, B, C, etc. will just add it to the end of the array. So let's kind of look at this with a visualization. So I'm going to scroll up here. And again, this one is pretty straightforward, so I don't think we're going to spend too much time on this video to figure it out. So in the first case, let's just push a simple value to the array. So I'm going to push the value E. And when I do that, it's going to go ahead and expand the array by one length. I'm not really sure how it works behind the scenes in JavaScript, but just know that the length of the array is going to increase by an extra value. And that new value that we're pushing in is going to go directly to the end of the array like so. All right, so super straightforward. Let's just look at this in JSBin and kind of figure out how to do it in JavaScript. So on the left here, we have an array with four elements, A, B, C, D. And I'm going to call ARR, which is our array, dot push. And I'm going to go ahead and push the value E into that array. And when I run this code, notice that we have E appended to the very end of the array. So again, super straightforward. And the other cases we should cover is if we wanted to pass additional arguments, we can push multiple things onto the array in one call. So let me just go ahead and add a simple comma here just to kind of demonstrate that. So if I change this to a, an E and then an F, that's going to push both of those directly to the end of our array. And to visualize that, let me just draw out those two additional slots inside the array here. So I'm going to say index four is going to be added and index five is going to be added. And notice that the length of our array is now going to be six. So E is going to be appended first, and then F will be appended. And again, going over the JS bin, let's just go ahead and demonstrate that. So if I do array.push EF, both of those are going to be appended to the end of our array. So one last thing I'm going to cover with the push method is sometimes you have two arrays and you want to push one into the other. So I'm going to say other array is going to have E an F in it. And if we wanted to push all the values that are in other into our original array, one thing we could do is we could say array.push.apply and then pass itself and then pass other. This is kind of the, the old school way of doing it. So if I run this, notice that we have E and F again appended to the end of the array. Nothing, nothing new going on there. Um, but this is kind of a useful, helpful way to do that if you want to append one array into the other. But now with ES6, the approach I like to do is you could just do the spread operator on the other array. So if you're not familiar with the spread operator, basically it's a dot 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 in front of a collection and it's going to apply each element as a argument into the method that you're calling. So this basically is the same as, as doing that. So let me run this and notice that again, we have the same result. E and F is appended to the end of the array, but it kind of looks a lot cleaner than that array.push.apply method.